Hi all, um, it's been a while since I've posted any videos, so I thought I'd um, show you what I'm currently up to. Um, it's uh, end of the year now, so it's getting dark outside early and temperatures are dropping, so I've decided to take the plunge um, on um, doing something which I've wanted to do for a while, but um, it's plucking up the courage essentially, um, which is removing the form from the manuals of my C3. So if I just pan around now, um, this is my C3, which I've had for 20 years now. It's from approximately 1973. Um, so it has got form in the manuals. I don't know whether some of you are aware, but um, prior to 1964, they used felt as dust seals. Then they went over to um, form, which has caused major problems with some organs where the form is broken down. I don't know if you've ever, ever sat on an old kitchen seat or an old piece of furniture from the 60s or even the 70s actually where you sit on it and you get up and the form doesn't return back to where it is. It just stays because it, it's just old and it becomes brittle and it just breaks down. And unfortunately that's what um, my organ um, will have in it. So at the moment, um, all the tones on all the keys are present. Um, the organs work, well, organ works fine. <coughs> but obviously if that form breaks down and eats into the, the, um, the key boxes, it's going to render it, well, trash essentially. Um, getting replacement manuals, certainly in the UK, would be nigh impossible without buying another organ really um you may have more success in america where there's where there's more of an abundance of these things but yeah so the preamp is out it's already had quite a bit of work done with actually um the preamp's been recapped and uh, resistors replaced where necessary um, it's also had, <coughs> excuse me, um, fuse protection, which the original um, preamps did not have on the EO28. Um, so you can have your transformer knocked out if you're not careful. And once again, being in the UK, you are struggling to get any spares. So there's fuse protection on there and also there's been a fuse added to the power in there as well um blessly which came with the organ it has also been overhauled um the leslie amp has been recapped and uh, it also has an eis electronic relay in there with a course setting so you can get that straight, that straight Hammond sound, which a lot of people use, especially in jazz and what have you. And as you can see, I've got a three, three-way switch there for that. Just coming around the back. Um, there's a lot of unsoldering to do when you tackle this job, as I've um, found out. Um, and you do need to take your time because often you're working quite close to other cables and you need to make sure you don't inadvertently um, burn adjacent wires and what have you <coughs> but at the moment I've just started on soldering the generator uh, the, gener the, the manual harness from the generator so it's a case of working my way along there. And then, as you can see, I've done quite a lot of unsoldering um, as it stands now. But, yeah. So, like I say, once you've took the music rack base off uh, and removed the start run switches. 
it's a case of <coughs> removing the bolts from underneath the organ and also there's a, a small plate at the front then which locks the manuals to the to the front rail then after that you are spending a lot of time around here I'm sure guys who do it a lot a lot quicker than me but uh, I intend this to be a one-off and one-off only <laughs> so better take my time really um, as you can see it's well some of you can see it's got red capacitors in there which are very nice sounding um, so yeah so that's what I'm up to at the moment still um, doing my electronic music upstairs but this has become a bit of a priority for me now really um, you tend to get quite sentimental and attached to uh, things like this which make you uh, happy and like I said I've had this for 20 years now and um, I'd hate to see anything happen to it so I've got to uh, get stuck into it and get it sorted so there we are I'll post another video when I get the manuals out and just let you see um, what that looks like God knows what I'll find in there after 50 years um, but I'm not I'm not expecting anything too drastic like guitar picks and or what have you because it's it was um, kept at a acidic center all its life until until I got it so it hasn't been in a club or anything like that so hopefully it should be quite clean <laughs> 